Hello and welcome. In today's video we are going to do our lab 31 that is capturing the TCP header with Wireshark. If you want to follow along in your machine, here are the instructions. And here are the rest of them. All right, so let's get started. So in this video, what we are going to do is uh, capture our transmission control packet or protocol header with a Wireshark. And if you don't know Wireshark, we have done that in the past. I uh, did a standalone video on uh, my video for what that uh, hacking course as well. So that was really fun. Uh, if you, I will try to find that video and link it in the description. Uh, it was for INE uh, EJPT course. So look, look that up. That's really fun. All right. So what we're gonna do is open the Wireshark Network Analyzer window. The Wireshark is this one. We're gonna open it up. Click V Ethernet, use certify switch, and from the main toolbar, capturing packet. Okay, so V Ethernet is this one. So basically, you tell which interface you want to capture the packets on, and then this should be the capture packet. Uh, it's asking us to minimize it, and from the desktop, windows.rdp. So it's a remote desktop thing. In the Windows security box, you're gonna type the password that is small U capital C at one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we are connecting. So, then this security certificate is just that uh, the host is not in your computer's directory, and by clicking yes, you're just adding it. That okay, yeah, I want to connect it. Alright, so now we, since you, you can see this bar up here, this it basically tells you that you are connecting or this desktop is not the one we originally logged into, it's for the remote computer. You're going to launch the Edge. Now we can type in usertify.com and press enter it's loading the page quite frankly this is absolute lies oh mm, yes and no i mean it might be a winner but they had no idea what they were they were awarding this gift to uh this is u certify could be a great platform but they chose uh, to use updated material and uh, older technologies. It's uh, not fun, uh, especially if you're going to a cloud guru or if you have seen the cloud uh, quick labs. So yeah, you see the difference. All right, so this is two minutes, I believe. and our, our Wireshark should have enough time to capture. Now we're gonna close the RDP. Now if you close it, you close it from here, if you minimize it, so you have both desktop. So you can see here and here. It does get confusing when you are working and uh, uh, in the beginning, yes because you have toggle between and you're looking for information or doing something and your mind totally forgets that you are in remote desktop or not okay so we're gonna go press the red button there you are all right so it has stopped we're gonna 
apply a display filter box text box that is going to be you gotta find that right oh god <laughs> Below the toolbar in the applier text box, type TCP. Oh yeah, right here. TCP. Press enter. Mm, upper pan, V the net, window under the protocol column, select any TCP packet. So in the upper panel, vethernet u certify switch window this is vethernet u certify switch window and under the protocol column that is this you click on any tcp packet it's already selected in the middle you'll find the transmission protocol header that got to be this one length zero if you can see tiny tbd Transmission control port, source port, destination port, sequence zero, length zero. If I click on next one, it's again, it, it, it was the ACK packet. And the third one is ACK. Sequence one, ACK one. Sequence zero, ACK one. So again, if you click the sequence 20, ACK 20. So basically, uh, if you go and analyze Wireshark, there are sequences that you go by. <clears throat> they increment. All right, from the menu bar, click File tab, click Save File. And this is basically for the evaluation purpose. I believe it has nothing to do with the our uh, this PC local and click lab underscore file this PC local local DC lab underscore file capture TCP capture TCP all right, so this pr this process is just saving a file. I'm following this because it uh, gives you the evaluation at the end. TCP dot PCAPNG. So right here, if you submit it, you click on evaluate. It's fine. Basically, this evaluation is going finding the file that I just saved. It got the file. I'm good. It got my answer, and I'm done with this uh, lab. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.